really is more to this project than meets the eye. Yeah, we're still, we're still missing a cheese here. <laughs> That's right. So we're talking about our weekend project here, this cheese and cracker serving tray. Now a lot of times weekend projects get kind of a bad rap, like they're so simple that they're really not even worth building. But we decided to put a lot of woodworking techniques into this tray and make it something more so you're actually learning a lot of woodworking in it. And part of the key to that is there's actually a couple projects here. You have a serving tray, which is a nice project in itself, but what may, really makes it is a cutting board that we fit in between. Well, on the serving tray part of it, one of the keys was to make this scooped out in here, and that's for these kind of the fancy round crackers to fit in there. Well, to make those fit right, we wanted to make this be a cove. Well, it turns out there's a really interesting technique at the table saw to make a cove cut. And that cove cut not only you know, develops that curve for the crackers, it also helps form part of the underside here so you actually form a handle so you can carry the tray around. Right, well you can kind of see that here. We've cut a cove, half of a cove down here, and that forms this finger lift that's really kind of nice to the touch. Now there's another thing going on as you look at the edge of this tray, it's a bevel cut. Well, there's actually multiple bevels that all have to join together, and any time you're trying to join, mate two beveled surfaces together and glue and clamp them, you run into a lot of problems, so we've got some tips on how to solve those problems on joining two beveled surfaces. And after that, you'll do a little shaping, and what that's going to do is complete the tray. But the second project is where you're going to learn a few more techniques. It's a cutting board. Now you can just use a flat board to make an easy cutting board. We went a little further, and it involved making an end grain cutting board. And that requires a lot of little squares and then gluing those all together so everything's nice and flush. But we got a few tips and tricks for helping you do that right. So it looks like a simple weekend project, but there's actually all this woodworking, making a cove cut at the table saw, making the beveled cuts and joining them together, and then making this end grain cutting board. So let's get started. We'll head over to the table saw to start making that cove cut.